Well, good afternoon. I'm Reverend David. Thank you for joining me today for Disciple Time. You know, for the past couple of days, I've been kind of pondering this question. How can I, as a husband and a father, partner with the Holy Spirit to help my family collectively draw closer together and to deepen their prayer and faith journey through the season of Lent. What can I do? Maybe you're asking the same question. What can you do as a parent uh, to help your family prepare and journey through Lent um, in a more intentional way? So one of the things that came to my mind that I wanna share with you is having a sacred space for your family in your home. And I wanna challenge you to do this. I'm challenging myself to create this uh, for my family as we prepare to go through Lent. And we're gonna pick a central location in the home. Uh, we're gonna use this place as our holy place for Lent, kind of like an in-home altar. We're gonna maybe add a nice tablecloth to it, um, a, a cross, maybe a prayer candle. I love incense. I'll probably put incense on there. Maybe a prayer card that you like. Uh, but start creating a holy sacred space in your home. Many of you probably already have one, uh, but this would be something that what I'd like to focus on is that your whole family is a part of. So everybody can add something to it that's maybe special to them and their spiritual journey and just kind of draw your spiritual attention to this spot and then use this spot as a family as you go through Lent, right? Uh, maybe throughout your week or even throughout your day, if you can do it every day, bring your family together, pray together um, around this spot, maybe uh, pull out the mass readings for the upcoming Sunday and read those together as a family and ask each other about them. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What is this saying to you? And I just want to encourage you to create that space as like a as a foundational thing as we move into Lent. Now, the second thing I wanna do is I wanna make you aware of some of the ways uh, that you can take advantage of some of the ministries that are going on in the church to help you uh, kind of pull your family into different aspects of this. So we have this schedule online. Uh, you can go to holycommunionben.org and you can see that. Uh, but I wanna highlight some of the services uh, just in case you're not aware, because we put out all these announcements, but in this disciple time now, for the rest of this disciple time, I've already given you my challenge. Uh, that's that sacred space. But for the rest of this disciple time, I just kind of want to give you an overview of all the things that are going on in Lent and the different things, different ways that you can take advantage of these and incorporate them into your family ministries. All right. So on March 2nd, we're going to have our Ash Wednesday service. We're going to have a normal one at noon. But then, hey, if you're a family with youth in 541 Youth Ministries, I want to encourage you to come out to that very special 7 p.m. youth-led Ash Wednesday service. The youth are going to be doing so much, and I just want to encourage you, come out for the dinner beforehand at 6.30. This is going to be a fun time for the family. If you have some days off during your busy work schedule on a Tuesday or Thursday, uh, I want to encourage you to take advantage of our holy hour with the exposition of the Eucharist. If you've never done this before, this will give you an opportunity to have a time of prayer leading into a Mass, uh, which can be a very powerful thing. Another very powerful thing you can take advantage of if you're like me and your day off is Friday is our Stations of the Cross. Now, we're going to be doing that beginning in Lent every Friday at 3 p.m., and if you've never um, been part of the Stations of the Cross, I want to encourage you to come out and be a part of that. I'm actually looking forward to this, and I'm going to be coming on my day off to participate in it. Also, if you go on our website, you'll find our Lenten Challenge PDF. Now, I want to give this a quick plug because this is not about checking off a bunch of boxes about what you're going to do through Lent. Really, it's just an opportunity to make you aware of some of the things we've got going on, just like I'm doing right here in this disciple time. There's lists of a lot of different things that you can be involved with that the church has already set up for you to do. And the very first one there is, I will read my daily Lenten devotion booklet. So if you haven't got it already, this is a powerful day-by-day -day devotion that will take you all the way through Lent. And the purpose of this Lenten challenge is to get an accountability partner. That's going to be 
uh, a vital part of that. And it was a vital part for me in our last small group. Uh, as we went through the Rick Warren series, I had Bob Barano as my accountability partner. Having Bob as my accountability partner really helped me get into my readings every day. And by getting into those readings, I really got a lot out of it. Okay, so it's really to facilitate your own growth. Now, so Linton Rock Reminder and Youth Challenge. Uh, you probably got a Ziploc bag already. If you haven't, pick one up at the church. It's got a little rock in it. That's something you can carry around all through the Lent journey just to remind you that the Lord is the rock of your salvation. I mean, he's your stronghold. He's the, your place of refuge. And carrying that rock every day is going to help you kind of remember that you're on this Lenten journey. You're preparing for Easter. It's a beautiful thing. There's a prayer card there. There's a poem on the back. I want to share with you the Monday through Sunday challenges that I've issued to the youth. Now, these are the 541 youth challenges. They're a little different than the adult ones. On Monday, we're going to pray for the family. On Tuesday, we're going to pray for the church. On Wednesday, we're going to pray for the sick. On Thursday, we're going to fast from sweets. Uh-oh, that could be a challenge. On uh, Friday, we're going to fast from meat. Well, really, we should all be doing that. On Saturday, I think this is the biggest challenge for me, and it might be for you. We're going to fast from social media. And then on Sunday, we're going to enjoy the Sabbath, you know. And then for giving, we're going to give thanksgiving to God all throughout Lent. We're going to give our time to charity or to the ministries of the church, and we're going to give help to someone in need. So our 541 Youth Challenge is, is kind of built around prayer, fasting, and giving. You can check that out at the church. We have many rosaries put up if you want to add this to your prayer life. They're right there on the website. So if you've never prayed a joyful mystery or sorrowful mysteries, they're glorious mysteries, luminous mysteries, hop on. We've got links to YouTube videos that are going to give you scripture verses for every bead of the rosary. They're really great. We're going to be uh, looking at the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. But there's also some other rosaries there you might not be aware of, like the Rosary to St. Joseph. Now, if you have a family, I want to encourage you to check that out because this is a very family-oriented uh, rosary. And also the Rosary to St. Jude, which we're going to be putting out very soon, and we'll have a link up for that. Now, one of the highlights of this Lenten journey and I want to encourage everybody to get involved with this. Uh, young parents, middle-aged parents, older adults. Look, I can't tell you enough how important it is to stop the busyness of life and to make time for God and to be intentional about it. We have an awesome opportunity with this metanoia. This is a journey with Christ into conversion. And um, there's 11 sessions of this. And they're going to be uh, all through the Holy Land. We're going to go all through the Holy Land in this. And I I'm really looking forward to this. Now, if you don't know already, there's many different uh, small groups that you can sign up for. We've got a sign-up sheet at the church. Uh, you can sign up to one of these groups. We've got daytimes, nighttimes. We've got it at the church. We've got it at people's houses. So somewhere, uh, there's a way I know that uh, we could all be part of this. And I want to encourage you to do it. Now, we also have a Lenten ministry service project that's going to be March 16th. That'll be in the fellowship hall here. We're going to be serving dinner at 630. And then we're going to invite you, your whole family, the kids, everybody come out. This is a 541 um, hosted event where we're going to make Lenten Easter baskets for the children of the giving plate. Now, we got to remember as we move through Lent, it's not just about us. Uh, it's about the church and God and what he's doing in the world and, and what Christ has done. And so we want to engage in these service projects. This will be a very powerful part of your Lent journey. And then, of course, on the 22nd at 7 p.m., we're going to have our Lenten mission and reconciliation service. We want to encourage you to come out to that. And then all through Holy Week, uh, there's just a lot going on that you can be a part of. And on the 13th, we're going to have our Tenebrae service at 7 p.m. On April 14th, we're going to have our Chrism Mass service uh, at noon. Also, later that night at 7 p.m., we're going to have our Holy Thursday and Lord's Supper. Um, on April 15th, we're going to have a group prayer of the Divine Mercy Chaplet before Mass. So I will invite you to come out uh, to that, or that'll be Friday. And then... Uh, 
April 15th at 12 p.m. We're going to have the 24 hours of the Passion of the Lord Jesus Christ. That'll be right after that Divine Mercy Chaplet prayer. And then 7 p.m. that night, the Veneration of the Cross. April 16th, we're going to have our Holy Saturday Easter Vigil. And then, of course, the 17th, we'll be celebrating Easter. So, like I said, man, there's many opportunities to serve and be fed. And uh, I want to just remind you just to be thinking about how are you going to partner with the Holy Spirit to help your family uh, during this time? Well, thank you for joining me today and have a blessed week. Christ.